Hey there cats, good time of the day to you and thank you for tuning into my channel. This here I'm playing Ridge Racer 6 and uh, you know, when I've started recording Ridge Racer videos I've decided just to show some love to the Denver and uh, just, you know, complete uh, some of the hardest races which are mostly duels with uh, Denver machines, because, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I felt like Denver machines online just do not have enough love shown to them, so I've decided to fix it up a bit. Uh, but then the requests came and I followed them, and uh, after that I've decided to make that simple hack in a Ridge Racer PSP titles, which allowed me to take Bayonet into the races which are reserved for the higher class than the bayonet is uh, all in all all i want to say is that i didn't really plan to make that much ridge racer videos especially that much ridge racer videos featuring denver bayonet because bayonet is probably uh, the denver which i like the least but as you can see or at least as you can uh, imagine given the things I've just said. I now have a lot of videos with uh, Ridge Racer, from Ridge Racer, especially a lot of videos featuring bayonets. And uh, therefore I've decided I should record a video which um, uh, is not a request, which is something I want to have featuring a Ridge Racer 6 Class 1 bayonet, because this is probably my favorite bayonet out there. Yeah, simple Class 1 unmodified bayonet, this is what I like. And um, therefore I've decided to make a simple hack, similar to the one which I did on PSP titles, which would allow me to bring a Class 1 car into a Class 2 race. As you can see, I've managed to do it. Um, about my methods, well, first things first, I've tried to do it the same way I've uh, did it on PSP uh, and in Ridge Racer 5 by swapping the ID of the car. That didn't fly for some reason, I'm not sure why. I didn't push the issue, instead I've tried another approach and swapped the class I'm in. So, uh, I mean, I choose the race, which, uh, say, class 2 race, and then I simply swap a 1 byte that with the value 2 in the code to the value 1, and the game promptly and quite correctly transfers me to class 1, allowing me to choose in-game the car I want. It is probably even more comfortable than actually choosing the ID, because IDs of the cars can be somewhat obscure and classes they are from 1 to 5 and then you're simply choosing the car via the menu quite comfortable yes and I've started with dual races as you can see right here in fact I've quite quickly understood that I have no chance winning any dual race with the class 1 car well, actually there may be a slim really fucking chance that I will able be able to win uh, legally a dual race with a class 1 car, uh, I mean a class 2 dual race of course, but I didn't want myself another 7 hour night of hell, <laughs> I just wanted to have some fun, let's just take a look at this finish right now, that guy was close, or at least I felt like it, he was close and I really want to see how close he actually was, just look at that, yeah he looks actually quite close, Oh man. Oh well, maybe not that close. There was actually about a body of the car between us. I felt like that was a little bit more <laughs> closer finish, a little bit more tight finish, but that stop frame, yeah. So yeah, as you can see, I've actually resorted to using a nitrous cheat as well. I've hacked my nitros. Well, actually, not I. Uh, the nitros hack I've just found online and it worked quite fine. So, in order to have some fun, I've decided to 
add a nitros hack along the uh, class hack <laughs> so to say and uh, yeah just want to have several tries here and there obviously since i couldn't come even close to the first place in the dual class with the class one car in class two duels there is uh, no way i will go for advanced routes or expert routes or whatever they are named i will probably try to lower the difficulty a bit to try it without infinite nitros mm. but so far i just want to have several more races in dual class and i hope you will enjoy them as well it always seemed to me a little bit unfair that class one bayonet actually had to fight alongside hatchbacks and uh, semi-sport cars like Kamata Fiera. I mean, no hate towards Fiera, but it really looks like kind of a CT Coupe kind of a car. Why Bayonet? Bayonet is very sporty looking car. It feels really much more closer to Bizonte and the likes of them. In fact, if it was up to me, I'd probably swapped Hijack and Bayonet in class 1 and 2 round by uh, making hijack a class 1 car and Bayonet a class 2 car. It just feels uh, a bit more correct, in my opinion. But what's done is done and all I can do is uh, these kind of hacks. Basically, yeah, this video is just showcasing the first class Bayonet. I don't know, it's just... Requests, while reasonably fun, I don't feel it's like something I want to have on my channel, you know. Once again, I actually wanted to make this channel a modding channel and requests, they're just uh, races, which are not even that hard. I mean, monstrous duels and all those other stuff, they are at least, well, reasonably hard to show to you. I mean, yeah. It's really reasonably hard to defeat monsters with, oh, I, I'd say Crinale with Denver Hijack in Ridge Racer 7. So it was something that, even though it is, it doesn't include in any kind of modding, it is something fun to show. Equip a Hijack with Draga engine and show that it is capable of beating Crinale, yeah, that requires some skill. That was a clear finish, yeah, nothing to look at here, let's move on. Um, Lakeshore Drive, that's that gonna be a short one. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not by any kind of stretch a very skillful Ridge Racer player. There are a lot of players that are doing that kind of, uh, they call it the Silent Drift, I believe. I have no idea how to do that, so... There are a lot of people who can uh, do stuff much better than I do, win races much more casually than I do, but I still feel that these guys do not use Denver's much, so yeah, yeah, as you can see there's a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and uh, therefore some videos I feel like they're worth showing to people, and requests... Uh, I feel like, yeah, why not, because people want it, but it is not something I really want to see, and yeah, therefore I've had to make this kind of stuff you see on your screen right now. I had to add a little bit of uh, gold monkey spanking, naughty things, cheating stuff and all that, so I will be able to take a look at it at say something like yeah that's the content i want to see requests while good and i appreciate them this is not really the content i want to see you know uh, yeah running a youtube channel is uh, i guess mostly is the content uh, running a successful youtube channel i guess is uh, making content that people want to see uh, running a channel like mine a small really small fucking channel is uh, making content people don't want to see and since people really only kind of you know 
the channel like mine it only attracts people that for some reason are okay with seeing the content my perverse mind wants to see uh, yeah obviously there are not much people which share my views <laughs> all right yeah but whatever so lap three in the third race of class two with the class one car oh boy I try not to push Nitros as hard as I did in Infinite Nitros races with in Ridge Racer PSP titles like Neplas Ultra, but oh boy, I think I I do I will not make it. Damn it! All right, gotta make another one. Oh boy! All right, good. And he fired his Nitros. Oh motherfucker! <laughs> oh, now that was a close finish. Oh boy! <laughs> yeah, I I a little kinda went a little bit soft and thought I will have enough nitros but I really did not and he fires his nitros just look at that he really fired his nitros boy that was a good one nose to nose uh, that's kinda a very notable uh, defense mechanism which um, comes from PSP titles and it goes onwards in Ridge Racer 6 and 7 as well. Um, if you fire your nitros near the car you duel with in, in like uh, somewhat immediate vicinity, unless it is in cooldown period in from firing another nitros, said car will most definitely fire nitros as well. It's the kind of defense mechanism of the AI races of your opponents. Yeah, if you like fire nitros side by side with them or right in front of them, you know, you have not to be very far behind or very far ahead of them. Yeah, if you're just somewhat nearby and as I said, if they are not in cooldown after firing another nitros, they will fire nitros as long as you will fire nitros. I mean, uh, at the same moment you will fire yours. I'm not sure which exactly nitros they will fire. Uh, I think it is somewhat random, but I can see they prefer the single or double nitros. Um, and that's all I want to say, I guess. They will do it. It, it, it kind of seems a little bit unfair, because, you know, they can fire triple nitros and you will fire triple nitros, so you will be side by side with them. Then you will get, uh, I don't know, ultimate charge somehow and uh, you will get, say, single nitros. They can fire double and uh, get away from you. It, it kind of works like that, you know, nitros, nitros in general, they're very unfair. You can, you can Notice that that your opponents, especially in higher class races, in higher difficulty races, they can uh, have a lot of nitros, much more than you can uh, ever get. In fact, in those dual races, you could have noticed that some of my opponents fired nitros as soon as I've started the race, because I've simply went a little bit too far ahead from them. They've immediately fired nitros to catch up with me, even though we were just at the starting line, not even a single turn have been done. Oh boy. So, by this moment, by this race, I've actually tried uh, advanced route, a single race and a no nitros race. I've actually forgot the no nitros race in Ridge Racer 6 means that you will have no nitros and your opponents will have nitros as usual add that to that fact above which i've said which i've just said that your opponents will have infinite nitros and their defense mechanisms which make them use nitros a lot obviously there is once again no hope i could win a no nitros race in class 2 with the class 1 car in the race with nitros i've came um, about 7th uh, place, yeah, I guess it was the 7th place. 
So I fell down to the very first route. I, I believe it is called Beginner's Route. Uh, the name it is called is actually written in the start at the start of the race, but I've missed that completely. Pardon me. Either way, I fell down to this uh, very first route. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry I didn't show you any of the other tries I've just spoke about. I just really do not want to show you the the losing uh, the, the the races where I've lost. Yeah, I hope you understand me. Besides, they are not that interesting. I've simply followed one car like this for like three laps, trying to overtake it, and it didn't relent. I mean, the guys, even here on the beginner's route, these guys do not cut, cut me any slack. You, you can see it right here, right now. Here I am going at fifths for almost a lap. But, yeah. And it takes a lot to actually overtake these guys with a class 1 car. It is really hard. I'm not sure if it is possible to win anything but the most beginners, but the most, uh, but the very first route in class two with the class one car. In fact, I would probably say it is not possible. You see, the trick here is that you can win. Um, you will most likely win a class four race with a class three car. But to win a class 2 race with a class 1 car is much more difficult because the speeds are so much slower and the class 1 car just cannot generate nitros as fast as a class 3 car can. And uh, since uh, the appearance of nitros in Ridge Racer series a lot depends on nitros, that's why I could win a uh, class 6 race with a class 4 car in Ridge Racer PSP, but you cannot see a video where I win an Opus 2 with a class 1 car, because it is much more harder than winning an Opus 6 with class 4 car. The class 1 car just cannot generate nitros that much. That uh, fast, yeah. Um, and yeah, you might have noticed that even though I've said I don't want to show you the races where I've lost, I've still shown you the race where I've took the third place, but to me this is an absolute victory. To get that bronze medal I had to hold my ass like hell. It wasn't my very first try, I guess it was about my 10th try. It really takes a lot to take even third place in class 2 with a class 1 car. And this here is probably the only race you can actually legitimately and relatively easily win with uh, a class 1 car in class 2 because as you have probably noticed this is a reverse nitrous race and uh, given how the reverse nitrous works we pretty much have infinite nitrous I won't push it much but here we come to the downhill section of the track and this E on the right doesn't know what's coming to him. Here we go! Alright. This will show them. And just a bit more. And let's see how much I've got. One. Two. <laughs> yeah. That's why you can win this kind of race with a class 1 car. Oh yeah. This is gonna be devastating. I'm definitely gonna take these guys out. Yeah, not a chance for you. Not a chance. I'm saying I'm I will not even push this much. Oh, how much of the nitrous you have? I mean come on, that hijack is relentless, man. But alright. Yeah, there are basically basically two sections on this track where I will use my nitrous and I do not need much more. It really is enough. It really is enough. Actually, it, it kind of feels like it is not that hard in class 2 races, but thing is, with the reverse nighters you generate 
much more nitrous than without the reverse mechanics. It may look like it is not that different, but it actually is. <laughs> it is especially noticeable towards the finish line, where you basically, where you critically need at least uh, triple and double nitrous in order to win, as was illustrated by my very last duel with EO, I fire triple and double, this is what it takes to catch up with the class 2 car. And uh, in other types of races you most likely, well, you are guaranteed, pretty much guaranteed that you will not get that much nitrous with the class 1 car. After all, you can drive as good as you want in this kind of races, but it's a finish, the final uh, couple hundred meters before the finish line which actually matters and yeah the reverse nitrous uh, races are the type of the races where you can get that much nitrous the normal races yeah you will not get that much nitrous and therefore you will lose check out this side of mine yeah you aren't getting anything oh boy yeah, I can hear him, he, he comes, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he will not give up, but hey, this won't get you the gold medal. Can you see me coming? Here I am, right here. It's a melt fire, right? Yeah, it goes fast. You can see my car goes slightly to the left from time to time. This is because my gamepad, oh boy, he got lucky, I've accidentally rammed this guy, but all right. So yeah, my gamepad is a little bit broken, so when I turn to left, my stick doesn't quite return, quite return to the zero position, don't mind if I do! Woo! Yeah, and therefore the car continues to turn a little bit to the left, and unfortunately I do not have enough money for the new gamepad, and I'm not sure if it is even fixable. And how can I fix it? Oh boy. Alright, let's call it a day. Let's make it a victory for good. Yeah, like this. <laughs> well, that was fun. Thanks for being with me, cats. Hope you enjoyed this kind of races. And uh, if I actually upload this uh, race how I want it, to upload it this is gonna be the last ridge racer video for a while pardon me but i hope you liked it while it lasted so i guess more ridge racer will come eventually but for now something else i hope equally good will be on my channel so thanks for being with me cats stay tuned for more good luck